Hello and welcome back to Unsquashable.tv. Uh, we're joined courtside with MC Paul Walters ahead of this next match. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto court the ladies for our, our final match of this evening's session. She's the German number one. Please welcome Sina Tandro. And her opponent is a local girl. She's the highest ranked English player in the tournament. Please welcome Millie Tomlinson. So I'm rejoined for this match, Millie Tomlinson and Sina Kandra with uh, head coach here at the University of Nottingham, Rich O'Connor. Hi. It's looking, uh, looking like um, England have brought their big guns out for this one. So Millie's had a successful season and her rankings made quite a lot of progress this season. Uh, games matured a lot. Yeah, I mean Millie's up to up to world number twenty three, so that's a nice little rise, isn't it, in her in her ranking and she was recently the runner up at the Irish Open, so she's starting to push on in the rankings, which yeah. is good to see. Obviously a local girl, only from Duffield, isn't she, Rich? Yeah, you did some work with her in a lot of the early days, didn't you? Yeah, I did a bit when I was over at Duffield. We used to get on quite a bit then, um, doing quite a bit of practicing and, and routines and all that kind of stuff. Um yeah, she's, she's pushed on. She spent a bit of time in Manchester and then obviously uh, back, back now in Duffield. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's nice to see her starting to rise, actually. I think I think it's confidence quite often with Millie. Like, that's the thing that I've sort of found anyway, is that sometimes she doesn't believe she's capable of getting some of the wins that I think she really is capable of getting, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that showed at PSL finals, actually, where she beat Emily Whitlock quite, quite well, actually. She did really well in that match and... That's a game that, for me, marked um, you know a change in her performance level. I, I think she had a little bit of a struggle in the season, um, but um, big signs of maturity there with um, with a really professional game against Emily. And uh, you know Emily's uh, hovering in there, something like 12 in the world or something like that at the moment. So a great win for her, and definitely the best game of the season that I saw. Mm. So she's up against uh, Sina Kandra, recently married to uh, Raphael Kandra that played earlier on today. Um, so she's she was recently runner-up at the German Nationals, is up to world number 41. Um, be interesting to see how Millie does this, because I'd like to see her be quite clinical here. I think that's going to be something where she could show some, some of the character and her recent improvement to put, put her away. But I think Sina's definitely got the, the tools to be able to cause some issues. I think she's quite quite a few good good bits in a game um, to try and cause cause Millie some trouble what would you say like Millie's main strengths are from what you've seen Rich is there any bits that stand out for you so in this in this current um, sort of improvement that she's made um, and with reference to that PSL game I think that um, she's stepped up the court and she's she controls the, you know the service box area um, she's 
able to hit a really good, nice, tight length with pace or without pace, just a nice controlled shot, and um, stay up short in the, in the court and do uncomplicated things. Just put the ball in nice and tight, take, take the opponent in short, and uh, you know, as long as there's no panic there, I think she has, a, she, she has made a big improvement in that area. Um, we shall see. I think um, you know, it'll be the same thing again. Uh, when you're a little bit nervous at the start, you, you get yourself in with a few good lengths. If it starts straight away, you can, you can run away with things quite easily. Um, you know, if, uh, like the last match that, uh, that I was with you, the, uh, the game showed a little bit of you know, aw awkwardness and loose shots and what have you right from the beginning. Um, and then you don't get uh, you don't get those sort of clinical finishes that you expect. So it's yeah, I think interesting in Millie's game is I think having played quite a lot with Millie is how well she moves as well, which often often is a defining feature in the women's game. I think in terms of the ability to move and pick balls up. I don't know what do you think to that, Rich? Yeah, well, there's there's two things there: the ability to move, yes, you know, with with pace and with strength, but um, to do it at the right times as well. So, you know, a lot of people have the ability to move, but they, they nervously sit back in the court and then they leave themselves an awful lot of work to do to get up the courts. And even if they are good movers, um, they, they're leaving themselves some hard work and giving some openings for an opponent. But I think Millie's taken that step where she's, she's up the court. So mm. com combined with the good work, with a good yeah. movement, that makes her very, very quick and hard to uh, keep the ball away from. So. So it'd be interesting to see what we've got here, like how this game unfolds early doors. Um, I see, see Millie do well for, for us English supporters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Certainly might have a bit of a uh, travelling crowd from Duffield across, you know, not yeah. far for, for a home crowd to come. Big sort of passionate squash crowd over in Duffield, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are. I know my, my year that I spent coaching there, there were some great characters in that club that love love their squash very very knowledgeable crowd as well very much like the nottingham crowd but so we could get that yeah. nice uh, completely partisan vocal support you know? yeah <laughs> and of course it's england versus germany so. <laughs> didn't know you could have such accents rich <laughs> Yeah, it's my part-time yeah. oh, part job. Yeah. Oh, see that across going there? I know. That's a nice little start. <laughs> big, big smile on her face yeah. as well. A bit of positivity. Mm. Hopefully she's not used them all up. <laughs> yeah, maybe she Oops. has. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she should have saved the one from the knock up there. No. Bottom of the tin, not good. Yeah, just finding the range. <laughs> nice and tight. You see, that one wasn't full of pace. It was just a controlled shot, and that's what I think she's, she does well now. Mm. There again, just a push, nice and tight. Good squash, good start from both of them. Trickle off a yeah, boat. You don't often see that. She do didn't you? get that. Yeah. Quite often the angles work quite well in the, the women's game, don't they? Yeah. If you can draw someone in and take them off and disrupt the movement, yep. often can be a defining feature. Yeah. See someone like Laura's built, built in a few options from the front that create some angles. Yeah. In one or two, oh, that was a mistake. No, it's a big two size two. from mm. from Millie. It's just normal at the start. You you kind of have restricted breathing when you're a little bit nervous. Yeah. Yeah, it's how that affects you, isn't it? And whether or not you can just let everything settle. You just stretch those lungs mm. and then get into it. Oh. 
Code. Confusion now. First of all, thought that was done, but. And that's four three. How would you say, Rich, right. from, from what you've seen, how, how would you say now, obviously the, the standard of the women's game has gone up quite a bit, the depth of it's, I think, stronger than it's ever been, um, arguably with a lot more players that contend, can contend no, for titles. What, what would you say the main difference is if you're going to coach a female player to a male player on the world tour? Well, I mean, without the sort of genetic strength differences but there there is an area in in the the racket work which i always think can can speed up with the girls and uh, you know the being able to hold for a long time mm. and then really come up with some pace after a hold is something that's kind of hard to work on but you know it's it's doable and uh, and when you watch the the top tenors you see that all the time you see mm. that real turn explosion yeah the explosion of of pace from the racket. Was that something that you worked on with Natalie Green? Uh, Natalie was Green always a quite a bit, or was it? She was always a strong lady, anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think I think that was a part of her game. It was kind of relentless pressure on somebody, just that pace of shot. Mm. And certainly the top ten girls, you know, uh, none of them are short of, of pace in the hitting. Yeah. Across your time coaching, have you prefer working with girls or boys? Is there anything that uh, women uh, or men? Well, actually, or I, think just I think girls prefer me. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, I had a, a long time with Pete Marsh, and yeah. that was a that was a good time. That was, you know, you kind of working out how to beat only one other player in the world, and it was <laughs> yeah. Jancher at the time, and he was getting closer and closer, and then he had his. Uh, his Emmy that was putting paid to his career, but mm. uh, yeah, it was it's yeah. an interesting time because you had to wor work with Six such a small margins yeah. all the time, really small margins, and, and watch the dedication of a, of a bloke, you know. It, there's some good stories of Marsh, isn't there, in Nottingham when he was oh, yeah. training here? Yeah, you know, he's some some I imagine not repeatable, but <laughs> <laughs> quite a few that are, are repeatable. Uh, one of my favourites is you know he, he was so single-minded and he was driving to the cupboard. He went to fill up with petrol, and then he came to have a session. I think it, it, it wasn't with me. He was just having a game with somebody. Hmm. The next minute, there's there's a couple of cops on the balcony, and guess what? Marsh had driven off from the <laughs> petrol station without fill it, without, without pegs. <laughs> <laughs> I think totally he focused on his day, you know. The, the, the version I heard, he, he told the cops to wait for him to finish his <laughs> session and yeah. then he would go. Yeah. <laughs> there was the other one as well, wasn't there, when he went away to a tournament and his neighbours found the door left, left uh, open, yeah, is that open. right? Yeah. And it, correct me if I'm wrong, so the door was left open and his neighbours yeah. had thought someone had gone in and raided the place. Yeah. And, and they, uh, he came back from holiday and said, look, really sorry, you know, we tried to get a hold of you and while you're away, someone's come and burgled the place. <laughs> <laughs> and well, that was Marsh all over. Did, really. did he walk in and just go, no, it's exactly as I left it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and this is going, oh, right, that's mm. a good shot from Tina. Um, I don't think the girls have been bad in this game on length, mm. um, not bad on length and tightness, but they're not taking many risks to the front of the court. Um, when I say risk, I actually mean they're not using it tactically. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's been quite structured to the back, hasn't it, yeah. so far? That's a nice, nice ball, though, straight in that off well. So, close yeah. one, 9 all.
That's a nice left in the front, isn't it? Yeah. She's using the height of the front wall. Yeah, it was a real tactical yeah. hold, that, yeah, no. I think. Mm. She could have played that and uh, carried the game on, but it was enough interference. It's a good shot, that mm. working shot. Yeah. yeah, it's got to be a that. Yeah. It's a nice, simple yeah. play, though. Just taking in the straight drop off the base, making Millie work the corner to corner. Yeah. So often those are just play cross court, aren't they, off the base, then without yeah. any real thought. Nice Straightened it off line. nicely a couple of times now yeah, on that forehand. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, we've had yeah. we had a few interesting calls in the last one, I think, as well. I think the refs are maybe feeling a long day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, camp stuff to run after now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when your coach has got to chase yeah. you. Yeah. The coaching chase. At least it keeps you fit. <laughs> I think after that game, it's, um, you know, it was a length battle that game. One or two shots to the front, not not that many. Um, I think they've found sort of a length in the court, but you know, it's it's not it's not the all court game that you really need. Mm. Uh, I think that's the difference, isn't it, between these two and then that next echelon of of top female players. They, you know, like Raneem's a cracking example, and she uses the whole court yeah. virtually all the time. Yeah. Um, and the little subtleties of change of pace mm. and things, you know. Um, and it's just adding those elements into the game isn't it that's the that's the key to get from here to mm. that top top level but you know Millie finds herself as two one one of down here as two seed in this event yeah I just think she she's she's probably a, a little bit nervous and then you just <laughs> well you just resort to the the least likely error which is the yeah the long game straight you know. drives yeah <laughs> What would you be saying? Just try, trying to get more of more of the variety into the front court game, in, uh, into this game. Look to work her in more, like from from Millie. Would you say? Yeah. Um, mm. At the beginning, when I was, we were talking about when she beat Emily, I think she's not really doing that um, that quality classic length, and then stepping in and just taking a ball in mm. without much, uh, not much and fuss. You know, just just enough. getting there, just taking. She's a lot of straight mm. drops from memory against Emily, and it worked very well. Yeah. Just yeah, trying to take it in straight short, kind of, mm. it, it was working with very low error rate, but was working her opponent around yeah. the court a lot as a result. So I just wonder, you know, sometimes you, you, you come onto court without a game plan and mm. it's sort of, it, you know, that's when you just resort to, to the hitting game sort of thing. It is hard early doors on this, this fast glass court, though, isn't it, to, to find those those shots? But you've got to you've got to work them in at some point, otherwise they just never appear. I know she's played for for Nottingham, but mm. uh, not had that many goes on the court. I don't suppose. Yeah. That's a good hold. Yeah, it's a nice hold there. Oh, she just needs to build up yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, Confidence to take the ball in short like that, but that was just following a decent length as well. Mm. Well, down. No, one more. Don't see that too often. Good. Fair, uh, fair that holds. Well, yeah. I think she, if she gets yeah. into a groove like yeah. that, and um 
Mm. Down. Mm. Mm. Get a long length. Pressure in the length, but still not taking that volley position often enough, I don't think. No, she often seems to feel a lot more comfortable, Millie, once that ball's come past her, rather than taking it on early on the volley. You know, we were saying about her movement, she just tends to take her that position higher up, but it's whether or not you use it that's so important, isn't it? Yeah. It's tight. That's nice. Just using the width of the sidewall. And that's two three. I tried like mad to get Millie to come and do a a master. Come and do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At she, obviously, she obviously studied at Yale, didn't she? Yeah. She was really playing around with the idea of doing the Masters, wasn't she? She was. And then she kicked on and... Yeah, I tell you what, you would have had a, a ridiculous team if you'd had Millie as well. <laughs> yeah. Maybe thanks to some people, though, you know, <coughs> although the team is very strong, mm. um, you know, as a university team, mm. they come in here to to learn their squash and to further their squash as well as their academic yeah. side but um, uh, such a good group of, of good players it's easy to keep your game improving yeah and I think the other thing with university squash is it cycles yeah, doesn't it so you get three years yeah. and yeah. players move on and it changes so you need to you need to keep refreshing it don't you yeah Left. Quite tight Four. again in this early bit. Neither player really There's taking no control. No, no dominating by either player really. That's a tight one. There you go. Mm. It's good width, Four. but it's whether or not they can get on top and really start to attack this game, isn't it? Mm. That's what we need to start to see coming through. Nice fading away cross oh, court, isn't it? Quality Good finish. angle. No. Nerveless. Mm. It's good height on that lob serve. First time she's done one. Let's see. Once again, Millie just using pace in that area, so. That's better. That's better. Mm. It's mixing those paces in that from Millie. It's quite gets well, torn into a bit of a one what pace. It, does it makes your opponent um, have to choose which side of your body they're going to go around, mm. and it's always Six difficult eight. if you're changing the pace. It's also just opening someone up, isn't it? High to low, and, and making them do work. Yeah. On the front wall as well as the the floor plan. Can be effectively like making them do crunches sometimes, can't they? Going <laughs> up, down, up, down, using the core. Mm. Good boast. Mm. Seven, six. Well, he's going to have to work hard. Yes. Solid, isn't she, Cena? Yeah. Again, that could have been a soft one. So easy to be here behind the court and actually yeah. to, <laughs> to play a great game of squash, you know. Yeah, it all seems so much easier from back here, doesn't it? <laughs> I talk a much better game than I played. <laughs> That's not working. Shot. Yeah. 
That's please. better. Yeah. That's trying to trying to initiate a bit more. Mm. And out. Eight all. It's tight in this second game. It's been very nip and tuck, hasn't it? Mm. No one really getting control. No one really pulling away. Wait, yeah. yeah. Well, he just opened up that chance, but it's well defended. That's good. That's, that's nice. Not a good cross board, was it? No, no but it was well punished, wasn't it? Mm. Always like that follow-up volley. We were talking about that earlier, weren't we? Yeah. Deck showed a few good reaction ones in, in his match, actually. What did, did you watch any of Dex's game? Yeah, I was, uh, I was watching. Um, yeah. What did you make of it? Yeah, there's um, a lot of potential for him this season. Mm. I think he's going to make another little burst up the rankings. Yep. No. There's some promising signs, really, because he was very much yeah. competing there. Mm. It's just just ran away from him a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, I, I you know, looked at uh, Boja and I thought he's looking in good shape already. You know, he's playing... Put mm. some work in already, um, and he's been a top ten player. Hasn't he? So yeah, ten nine. Be an interesting season for Deck. Be interesting to see if he can really push on. Uh, 11, nine. Another good Going season. He could find Going himself top twenty. Yeah. So, I think Millie got away with yeah. that game in terms of yeah, she she made fewer errors. Um, still don't think she's playing at the top of the game here. But uh, no, I just think. Just a little bit nip and tuck. No one really taking control. Someone needs to take the initiative a bit more mm. in this game, I think. Try and get in around that middle, try and initiate with some short balls a little bit more. But it's hard because they're both playing good quality length, aren't they, really? Mm. Um, the guy in the yellow top's got the best forehand. Look, you yeah. Can see that, yeah. Best forehand in your team? Yeah. What what teams do you play for? See the fourth team or something? No. <laughs> Best forehand for glass cleaning. I think oh, so. forehand yeah. for... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's got a better technique. <laughs> Have you got any of your uh, team players volunteering? Or they're all, they're all still on their holidays, I guess? Yeah, they're all still on holidays. I've got a couple of uh, recent graduates um, who are helping out with mm. the physio. They, they um on duty um, for the tournament for physio. Mm. They've just qualified as physiotherapists and... Uh, They've stayed on in Nottingham. Oh, we're getting, uh, he's even doing the side of the door, the guy in the yellow, look. <laughs> Taking his job seriously. I don't know. I think they just like the limelight. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite nice, all the kit that you guys have got. Player is a Nottingham-based company, isn't it? Yeah, they, they did us proud. They put a lot into it, so um, long may it continue. Mm. And that game had a little bit more going in short and quite a few boasts, I suppose. Not mm. uh, not so much the touch, but the, the both going in and working each other. So better signs. still think the length has been okay and reasonably tight, but neither of them really taking advantage of, of their Thomas opponent's weak replies in, mm. in instances. It's interesting to see what happens here. See if one of them takes control of this match. There's a good one. There you go, Tim. Mm. Good yeah. length, right. Tim again, so that's concentration. Still that intensity in the line yeah, hitting, isn't there? And another turn, that's three. Mm. Three. Yeah. Millie didn't have to do anything there. Just shows how costly those unforced errors are, really. Gotta, gotta take those out. 
You're sounding tired, Josh. Have you uh, uh, have been on the job too long? This is, mm. yeah, seventh match in a row now. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the phrase. Yeah. I'm looking forward to James to finish. I think today, yeah, today's always. the big day. Today was the big day to get through the eight matches. I think that's a stroke. She's been given this one so far, really, I think. Yeah, it's a bit of a giveaway, this, isn't it? Yep. Three point giveaway. Well, six, actually. Nice length Excellent. again. Oh, that's a nice finish, though. Been waiting for that one. Mm. Oh, there's the hold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now she's starting to take her body. Mm. She's trying to get a bit more busy around that middle part of the mm. court, isn't it? Another, Another error. Eight, Eight love. love. Oh, might get a chance of a bagel there. Sort of we had one earlier on in the day. No. Gregory Gould there was had, had no mercy. Mm -hmm. Nine love. Two more points. It's merely too nice though. <laughs> or <is it> Actually, <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think, if my memory serves me correctly, Ten she, love. Uh, Ten she might have, she no. might have bageled Emily or even 11 wonder. Yeah. Um, in that match we talked about. Oh, she could have done it with us. Oh, oh, thank, thank you very yeah, much. That one's done. Yeah. So we were saying about one of them taking control of this match, and Millie, <laughs> Millie's kind of well, been given so a lot of that, yeah, <laughs> to be fair, it, but yeah. she's certainly uh, yeah. in control. <laughs> I think that's the softest bagel. It was. I've seen, there was so many errors. It was just freebies all the way. Yeah. What's your favourite bagel topping, though, Rich? Got any e favourites? Oh, honey. Honey? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cream cheese for me. Cream cheese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it'd uh, be interesting to see what she does coming back on here, Sina Kandra. Like, uh, so that was uh, just a complete free three point giveaway yeah and especially when game. she didn't look as though she's tired or anything like that in particular that's just you know terrible concentration mm. I mean if she can just keep it out of the tin it'll be quite a close game <laughs> 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 and that's what we'd seen in the first two wasn't it it was, yeah. it was very nip and tuck it's going to uh, be a bizarre score line that <laughs> I mean Malik I think Two or three good volleys in that game and a couple of working shots, um, you know, compounded the, the misery of <laughs> Sinner there. But um, it was just a gift of a game. Mm. She's got to come out firing here. Goes without saying at 2 1 down. <laughs> Thomason leads two games to one. Thomason to serve. Level. Uh, Millie's looping in that serve now. That's better. That's what I like. Out. Good quality. There's another tin. So maybe it's getting consistent tins now. Yeah. We had consistent length hitting before and now consistent tin hitting. Might be past your bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> maybe it was the delayed schedule. So there were some tough long games earlier on today. Mm. Yeah, we've definitely uh, overrun a little bit today. But as a pro, you can't, you know, you've got to take it, haven't you? I mean, look at the, mm. tennis, the tennis players are finishing at 2 o'clock in the morning sometimes. So. Mm. Squash pros just have to take it. Yeah, There's a chance for that there because yeah. by the time the ball had got to her, she had cleared, I thought. Yeah. Really slow. Doing a bit of slowing down, speeding mm. up, slowing down, speeding up. It's much better that. Much more variation. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's leaping in that serve and good shot with pressure. Should have volleyed. Mm. I think the variation, you're right. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. That's, beautiful. that's just a control shot. And there you go. Ooh, not and a then finish, it opens up that chance, doesn't yeah. it? No, this is this is playing better from Millie. as long as she did. First point in two games. Yeah. <laughs> Another ten. <laughs> so, if you manage to sort out Colleen's backhand clip in that I've corner, I've had a word with Colleen oh, already. Yeah. yeah, she's she's not coming right. to my university without a few early words. <laughs> so, uh, what, what what was the uh, magic words on the on the backhand front then? Oh, it's, uh, it's top secret. A lot to do with spacing and things yeah. like that, but. Uh, I gave her a bit of leeway. I said, she, she, yeah, she's probably a little bit anxious and over adrenaline. So. Yeah, that's fair, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Saw uh, Dan Tilly, the director of sports, been watching quite a bit. Yeah, he's he's, uh, his magic puts, puts a, a lot of um, time into, mm. into his job and looks after people a lot you know does he play himself or has he just got oh, a keen interest i think the sports department are really pushed with the <laughs> <laughs> amount of time that they put into things you know so. Some of the center staff are really keen on playing on this court though they yeah they love it oh mm -hmm. you can see why it's it's a cool feature of this building isn't it, it is. that's good for money so starting to dominate mm -hmm. the middle oh, no. yeah now this one, sh she's not been given the game, she's doing it. Yeah, it's been so much better, hasn't it, in terms of what she's tried to do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a nice finish. Oh. Another thing. Yeah. She's working that backhand in short nicely now, isn't she? Yeah. No, so no. she's playing well now, but uh, Sinner hasn't really made that many er as many errors this game. No, I think Millie's played better in this game than the the three point giveaway in the the eleven love. Yeah. students now I, I always say to them tins off a bean in that, that volley to length off that return, wasn't there? This, this game has been so much better for Millie, hasn't it, in terms of what she tried to do? She's going to play like the last game. I think she's shown so much more variety in a game in that ability to attack. Yeah. Anyway, we're joined 
Ladies and gentlemen, please Irish. show your appreciation from Watson. Germany, Sina Kendra. Really, I know you'll want to probably uh, get off court and cool down and, and prepare, prepare for tomorrow, but if you could just have a, have a few words. A little bit about yourself, really, uh, first, because, you know, competing on the World Tour, part of the England Squash performance programme, but taking quite an unusual sort of pathway um, to reach this point so far. Yeah, uh, so I went to University of America first to Europe, graduated in 2014, worked for a few months and then started to turn pro. And that sort of environment in America, um, how instrumental was that in, in you know, your development? Um, it was really good training, actually. It's an amazing experience being out there. I mean, the university is great. Made loads of good friends out there. Um, training setup's amazing, basically. And as a quick comparison, obviously, the University of Nottingham have invested massively within this facility, particularly within squash. Do you think this is very much a, you know, a development of the US model? Uh, yeah, it's really promising, but English squash isn't quite the same at Birmingham, Birmingham setup. Uh, the court's great here. It's a great atmosphere, but the basketball's really nice. And maybe if these facilities were around a couple of years earlier, would that, you think, sort of turned your head and maybe you made a different decision? Um, that was tempted me, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, let's talk about that tomorrow. Uh, but before that, let's maybe just reflect on, on this match. Quite a, a, a strange match in many ways, seemed to, to fluctuate quite dramatically. Yeah, I mean, Sina had a really tough 3 2 yesterday. Went to like 12 10 in the fifth or something, so I was hoping she'd get it tomorrow. But she came out really fast and surprised me, but yeah, she did. So the, the plan was always to sort of keep it as hard and as, as long as you can? Uh, yeah, I was hoping if I kept the running as long, but eventually she came to her a little bit, yeah. <laughs> and quickly for tomorrow, um, looking forward to that. First time you've, you've, you've played this particular event, so um, what sort of things are, are you looking forward to, particularly sort of being on this course in, uh, in this sort of environment? Uh, it's a great opportunity to be a top player, never beaten Poland before, so it should be a good match tomorrow, a good opportunity. Well, hopefully you'll get lots of support. Uh, we wish you well, congratulations today, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a very short interval, but we will bring the, the men on for our final, quarter-final match as soon as we can. Thank you. And you can join us again soon for James Wolfstrop and Lucas Serm. Um.